If you are experiencing frequent foamy urine, you see swelling in your hands and feet, or even feel pain in your lower back, you might be seeing symptoms of kidney disease. Kidney disease or kidney insufficiency is something common today, especially with the amount of people suffering from metabolic syndrome, diabetes, or high blood pressure. But what are its symptoms? How can you find out if you're suffering right now, today, of kidney damage? So in today's video, unveil some of the most common symptoms and techniques that you can follow or recognize to identify kidney damage before it's too late. Hey guys, Dr. Gus here, naturopath, acupuncturist, conventional doctor, and founder of DrLandEvar.com. In this channel as a conventional doctor to my patients from natural medicine before recurring to the use of pharmaceutical drugs. So if you don't know my channel, consider subscribing and press that bell down below to see notifications and be the first one to watch a new video. If you need an online point of quality supplements for your disease, if you need an online point of quality supplements to improve your health, look for them at drlandivar.com. And wait till the end of this video where I share some tips and video links related to this topic. Kidney disease is something common today, especially with the amount of people that suffer from high blood sugar levels, which damages your kidneys, or high blood pressure, which does the same, and even today with autoimmune conditions that also can actually accelerate the damage within your kidneys. But how can you recognize that you're suffering and that your kidneys need help? How can you do something about it before it's too late? All this in the next few minutes. Number one, foamy urine. If you're seeing foam in urine every single day, and this is not something that you see sporadically, you see once in a month or even once in a year, you have to pay close attention to what is going on. One of the most common symptoms of proteinuria, meaning you are peeing all the protein you have within your blood, is foamy urine. As a matter of fact, if you see foam in urine, this is actually a very clear symptom that there is protein being excreted by your kidneys when it should not be happening. If you're seeing foamy urine, that is the first symptom indicated that something is not right with that kidney function. It may be kidney disease, it may be something that is actually telling you that you need to get yourself checked because maybe you have, you may have a kidney infection, you may have kidney disease, or you may even have kidney insufficiency. This is a very important symptom and sometimes when I see this with people I am trying to help, I actually go and look at their lab tests, go and look if there's something we can do, changing diet, changing the way they eat, the way they exercise, or making sure that their high blood sugar levels or high blood pressure is not being an issue. What I recommend to you is exactly this, check and see if you do not have a underlying condition that is damaging your kidneys and make sure that you are eating a healthy diet that is not damaging that filtering uh, function that your kidneys should be having. If you need something natural that can support your body's ability to keep those kidneys naturally healthy, look for Kidney Matrix, Uri Essence, and Deep Berry from Fineland at DrLandivar.com. Number two, swelling in your hands and feet. The swelling in our bodies or the accumulation of water indicate that the kidneys may not be doing their job with respects to eliminating everything that they should be excreting through urine. In this case, the accumulation of water is not a good symptom. It could be indicating that your heart is not pumping blood correctly throughout the body. This might be a sign of heart insufficiency, but it also could mean that your kidneys are not filtering all the liquids they should be doing every day. If this is the cause, get yourself checked. It's not normal to have swelling in your feet, especially when you have kidney disease. In this case, there is something to be done. You might need to exercise. You might need to move. You might need to eat foods that do not contain as much salt, which will actually cause the accumulation of water and also damage your kidneys over time. What I suggest you do is start consuming foods that are diuretics that will help the kidneys excrete the amount of water that you might be accumulating in your system. Coffee might help. Watermelon is an excellent food you can use. Mint tea is also something that can act as a diuretic and also other supplements that will aid your body's natural ability to excrete water that is being accumulated in your hands and your feet and that might be indicating a problem with your kidneys. If you need something natural that will help your body circulate blood, 
help your body's natural ability to keep those kidneys and that circulatory system healthy. Look for Oncardio, Uriessence, and D Berry from Fine Lena Dr. Landmarka. Number three, pain in your lower back. The lower back we have, actually right below that rib cage, is the exact place where we should find our kidneys. If you feel that your back is hurting, and especially if you give it a little punch and you feel that that pain is excruci or excruciating, that may indicate that you have a kidney problem. It could be kidney inflammation, it could be a kidney infection, it could be something that needs taking care of, and I suggest you get yourself looked. If you ignore it and you do nothing to solve the problem, remember that infection may damage your kidneys. You may see your kidneys swell, you may see blood later on in urine, you may see that those kidneys uh, start to, to consume or start to produce a fibrotic structure. And obviously with time, that can also create a kidney insufficiency. If you need something natural that can help your body have that ability to excrete and keep those kidneys healthy. Excreting the, the amount of bacteria that might be accumulating in that urinary tract with cranberry extract, probiotics, and more. Look for D Berry Kidney Matrix and Uri Essence from Fine Linen Dr. Land of Aracon. If you have frequent urinary tract infections, you might want to get something or try to improve that immune system to make sure that those urinary infections do not become a problem. The more you have urinary infections, the more your kidneys will get damaged. And in the long run, I've seen people that actually suffer from kidney insufficiency or kidney complete damage just because they didn't get themselves checked at time or they didn't get that immune function up to prevent more urinary tract infections. If you need natural ingredients that can also help your body's natural ability to improve that immune function, that's something like vitamin C, zinc, and more. Look for I'm Defense. Look for Ultra C1000 and Appleizer from Finelin at DrLandibar.com. Number four, swelling around your eyes and on your face. When you see swelling on your face, that is one of the most clear indications your kidneys may not be filtering or may not be working the way they should be. Sometimes this comes with an itchy skin, which is another symptom you have to look out for. But if you're seeing these symptoms, it's not a good idea to wait a lot. You're actually, your face should not be looking bloated. If you feel yourself as you're, you're bloated, this might be a problem with the metabolic rate you're having with obesity. Yes, it can be, but it also can be a clear sign of kidney disease. Actually, when a doctor looks at a person that has a bloated face with the accumulation of water in these areas, this may indicate that they need help, including maybe even dialysis because it's gone too far. Your kidneys are not able to filter out the excess of water you are accumulating. And obviously your body is not being able to keep up with what you're ingesting. So make sure you take good care of your kidneys. Remember, the conditions or the most common conditions that will damage your kidneys completely are high blood pressure and high sugar levels in your system. Obviously, if you are having a high blood pressure that is beating on those kidneys all the time and you're having too much sugar to being filtered out on these delicate glomerular functions or glomerular structures, well, obviously they will get damaged over time. If you need something natural that can help your body's natural ability to eliminate water, to help your kidneys stay healthy with the ingredients, natural ingredients they might be needing, look for Uri Essence, D-Berry, and Kidney Matrix from Phylet at phylentvitamins.com. And help out the channel by giving this video a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. If you have any questions, leave your comments down below and I'll be happy to assist you. I'll wait for you and if you need any more information you can find more information in this channel i'll see you in the next video